The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of you fall. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barber Shop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith. Now for the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one half hour ministry that you will hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. And now the next voice that you will hear will be the voice of Dr. L.C. Green. Hear ye, hear ye, Dr. L.C. Green. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mr. Woodman. Thank you so very much. Uh, we need to tell, we need to tell our listeners about the new location of the uh, pre, I heard you announcing about that pre-Mother's Day program. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people on there. And uh, the new the new location is going to be at the Randolph County Elementary School. Randolph. Randolph County Elementary School over in Corporate, Georgia. It's going to, that's the new location of the program that Mr. Woodley was talking about earlier, the pre-Mother's Day program. We got a lot of groups on there, May the 3rd at 3 Eastern time. I, I got to get those times together, man. L listen, uh, I want I want us to I want us to uh, put Jamel Johnson on our prayer list. Let's pray. For, let's pray. Ms. Lucille Johnson made a request and we're going to we're going to honor that request. We're going to we're going to put Jamel Johnson on our on our prayer list. I ask that you would continue to pray. Father God, we come this morning. We come this morning. Uh, asking for your for your blessing, asking that you continue to bless us, but most of all that you would use us in some way uh, to let somebody know just how good you really are. And as we speak this morning, we ask that you would speak through us in Jesus' name, Amen. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to spend all my time this morning to try to encourage you to come to something that's very, very important. Those of you uh, who love who love your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, uh, you know, you know, there was a time when I was growing up where the whole community took care of the children in the community. Uh, you didn't have to worry about your children because everybody in the community would look out uh, for your children and my brothers and my sisters is very very important it's very important that whatever whatever you are doing that you make your way down to the Ufala Community Center on April the 30th that's Thursday April the 30th that's Thursday April the 30th at, at 6 p.m. Uh, the Ufala Police Department is sponsoring a program and I, I, I sit down and, and, and I talk to I talk to Sergeant Brown and uh, Sergeant Bradley and the Chief. I, I had a chance to sit down and talk to them. And you will see that program. You will see that interview on TV uh, uh, Tuesday and also on YouTube. And I was amazed at some of the things that, that I found out that we ought to be that we ought to be aware of. Our children are under attack. And they're under attack right there in our own home. Right there in our own home. Right there under the roof that we provide for them. Our children are under attack. Uh, when we give them a cell phone or, or, or iPad of all these things that we get for our children. It, uh, uh, these instruments are being used uh, to attack our children. And we, we, we need to go. I'm, I'm going to talk about that all, all program. But I, I want to give I want to give out I want to give out some thank yous first of all I want to I want to give out some some thank yous uh, 
I want to thank Mr. Thomas, Mr. James Thomas, because he called for a meeting last Monday and he hosted the meeting and I want to thank him. I want to thank Miss Franklin. Miss Franklin was there and I, I had a chance to talk to somebody and they told me that Miss Franklin been been involved in the, the community for a long time. And so I take my hat off to you, my dear sister, and and say God bless you and thank you for being there. Hermie, I thank you for being there. Uh, Doc Wilburn, thank you. Cleveland Holmes, thank you. And I want to give a special, a special thank you to Dr. Ware and, and County, County Commissioner Henry Franklin. I want to thank them very much. A special thank you. Uh, when, I, when, I, when I go somewhere, when I go somewhere to a meeting, of concern to the community and I see Dr. Ware walk in and it, it just let me know I'm in the right place. Uh, so I want to give a special thank you to Dr. Ware and County Commissioner Henry Franklin and the names that I called. It, it, I, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in the fact that when we put out stuff for the community, for the good of the community, and we ask the community to show up, then they don't show up. But 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 I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, e even if you don't have children, but you love children, even if you don't have children of your own, but you're concerned about the young people here in the city of Eufaula, Barber County, we're inviting all of Barber County, Henry County, or, or those of you in Georgia that hears this program, Y'all come to you follow. Come to you follow. Because the things that we're going to talk about, the things that they're going to talk about are uh, on the 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. concerns everybody. Everybody in this listening audience. And, and I'm, I'm going to put this on YouTube so we can reach everybody. Everybody. We want to reach everybody. Everybody. This, 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 is, a, this is a ministry. This, this is a ministry. That's why I'm spending all my time this morning, yes, I'm going to tell you to go to church. I'm going, I'm going to tell you to go to church. But even if you don't go to church, Lord have mercy, you need to come to this. You need, you need to come to this. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. You might say, well, I don't have any children. But what about the children in your neighborhood? You, you, ought, to be, you ought to be concerned about the children in your neighborhood. You ought to be concerned about the children down the street because what affects one affects everybody and 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 <clears throat> we have children who have been victims we we have children who are walking around right now uh, who have been victims of, of media predators we have been we have children who are walking around right now not knowing what to do because they have been victims of social media Predators, young children, uh, uh, these 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 media, uh, social media predators, prey on young children, boys and girls, boys and girls. And what what you what you need what you need to do, you need to come to this meeting, so you can identify. See, sometimes your children, sometimes your children, are. Uh, uh, won't, won't be able to tell you for whatever reason. So sometimes they don't even know that the predators are, are preying on them. So, so what? The, and we want, we want, we want to, we want to take our head off to the Ufaula Police Department. We want to take our head off to them. This, this is one. This is one of the greatest things that that they can do. Now, listen to me very carefully. This is free of charge. This is free of charge. You hear me? Free of charge. They are doing this because they are concerned. Of not, 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 not. Listen. A lot of times we say, "Well, we in little you follow." But don't you know that that what's going on in the big cities is finding its way down here to you follow? So, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, if I have to plead with you, that there's no, there's no way, there's no way that this place should not be. I'm acting all pastors. I'm. I'm asking all leaders, I'm asking all of our elected officials, I'm asking everybody that got a heartbeat 
to be there, to be there, to be at the Ufala Community Center on April the 30th. Get, let's get there early. Let's get there early. It's, it's gonna, the program is going to start, and you know, I was told it's going to start right on time. It's going to start at, at 6 o'clock. They're going to try to get you out of there within an hour. But now listen to the thing. This is the thing that, 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 that's so good about this thing. They're going to make their presentation to us, and then they're going to allow us to ask questions. Uh, or they're gonna allow us to ask questions. There, there are, there are, there are, there are folks. There are folks who 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 get their joy out of praying on our children. There, there, there are folks in you follow who are predators, who are sexual predators. And 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 I tell you, I tell you what. When when I was talking to them, I found out. Not only that, but it's bullying. Not, on, not only should we be concerned about the sexual predators, but also there are people who get on social media and bully folks. Uh, you know, I read about, I read about <coughs> folks committing suicide and things like that because they are being bullied. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's do all we can to prevent this. Let's do all we can. We, 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 we need to know, we need to know who our children is talking to on this social media. We need to know who they who they have on their Facebook. We need to know who they friends with. We, we need to know all these things. And, and and when we leave there on the night of the 30th, we'll know what to I, I don't know what to look for. I don't, I don't know I don't know what to look for and most of the children that's dealing in social media is way more advanced than me on that social media. That's why I'm going to be front row. I'm, I'm going to be front row on the 30th. All my kids are grown but I come across children every day. I come across your children and somebody else's children and, 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 and I talk to children every day. <clears throat> So I want to be able to protect these children. I, I, I love them, you know. You know, there's that, a song that God loves all the little children of the world, and 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 it is our responsibility to protect these children. Is our responsibility? Uh, is our responsibility to be an example for these children? You know, uh, this month is a uh, Child Abuse Awareness Month, and their theme is it should not hurt to be a child. And I agree with that. It, it shouldn't hurt to be a child. A child shouldn't shouldn't be in their room. Uh, uh, now they have a right to go on social media. They, they, the child has a right to do that, but they shouldn't be in their rooms. Uh, uh, and somebody somebody sending them pictures or, or talking to them in, in a way that that's not appropriate. And and we we, we need to know. We we need to know. We need to know. Uh, uh, that that that. And and I tell you one thing else. They told me. But how many different sites out there? That there, there are there are sites that 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 look legitimate. They they look like that this is something legitimate. But but then when your child get on that site, that site is full of sexual predators and bullies. So we need we need to be able to identify these sites ourselves so that we can protect those children. And 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 if if you got any if you got any ounce of concern in you, then I think the third, and I, I'm, I'm going to go as far as to say this, shame on, shame on any pastor that's not there. Shame on you. You, you, you stand before these people and you get, you're responsible for all these sheep. And shame on you if you're not there. Shame on you if you're not there. If you're a leader, shame on you if you're not there. If you're an elected official, and, and you're responsible and you're concerned about the folks that you represent. Shame on you if you're not there. Shame on you if you're not there. This, this is a real problem. But just like any other problem, we got some real answers. This, this is a real problem. This is a real problem. And we, I, I tell you what, I tell you what. The police department is so concerned about it that they'll put it on this, the, I'm, I'm going to call it a workshop, uh, at no cost to us. All we got to do is go there and get this information. 
They, they, they are going to be there, they are going to be there, and, and, and they're, they're not going to be in no hurry when it comes to answering our, our questions. And no question, no question will not be answered, and, and, and there's no such thing as a dumb question. If you got a question about uh, the social media stuff that's going on, you ought to be there, and you ought to talk to, uh, uh, they, they don't want to be called experts. But you ought to be talking to somebody who was knowledgeable of what's going on, and the, and, and be aware of the things that they have to that, that they have to they have to deal with. Uh, I want to say good morning to Mark and uh, a lot of folks. I want to say good morning to this morning. So all of you, I want to say good morning to you. But I, I don't want us to lose track. I don't want us to lose track of of, of what uh, of what my dime. I, I, I want my I want and. Um, this, this is. This, I, I feel so strongly about this that I got. I got it on TV. I got it on the radio. I got it everywhere that I thought I could get it to get it out. That that you won't have no excuse about not knowing about this. This is very. This is very, 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 very important. This is very important. This is very, very important. That 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 Lord have mercy. So many things going on on that Facebook and. And uh, YouTube and, and YouTube is, is is a good thing if it's used right. Facebook and uh, Twitter, Twitter, and all these other different things. A lot of things I don't know. I don't I don't know a lot of these things, and that's why I'm so glad that that somebody is going to inform us of it. Some some of you out there might be just like me. You might not know, or, or you might not know, and you don't have to admit that you don't know. Just come and sit there. And 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 just just like me, I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna sit front row, and I'm gonna try to get all the information that I can, and and, and I'm gonna pray God that I can help some child somewhere. I, I'm gonna pray God that I'm gonna get enough information that I can help set some child free. Uh, uh, child shouldn't have to shouldn't have to shouldn't have to worry about who they talking to on their cell phone. Ain't no grown up got no business talking. Talking uh, 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 sexual to, to to our children. Nobody got no business bullying our children and threatening our children. No, no, no. They don't have a right to do that. And it it is it is our responsibility. It is ours. Those of us who are adults. It is our responsibility to protect our children. It is our responsibility. To, to provide leadership, guidance, and be an example for our children. Oh yes, yes, that, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton wrote a book and became a millionaire on a book that she wrote saying that, that, that it takes a village. And you and I know that, you and I know that we have a responsibility uh, uh, if it ain't your child, if it's not your child, it's still, it's still a human being that, that was created by God. It's still, it's still somebody, that even though it's not your birth child, it's still a child worth saving. And, I, and I'm pleading with you today. I'm pleading with you today on, on the radio and on TV. I'm pleading with you. I, I, I get nothing out of this. I, 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 I'm not getting paid to make this announcement. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I'm doing it out of the concern for our children, not only the children in you follow, not only the children in you follow. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to gather some information, and I'm going to send it back home. I'm going to send some information to Lake Charles, Louisiana, so y'all will know. And, and, and I'm sure, I'm sure that there are somebody there that's going to make you aware of what's going on. But just in case, I'm going to get as much information as I can from the Ufaula Police Department and get it out. Uh, what do I gain from this? I gain, I gain the, 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 the assurance that I've done all I can do to make our children safe in the area of, uh, all, all, I want all of my listeners, and I thank God for my listeners. Every, every day I get somebody who's, who's listening to the program or watching the program on TV, and I thank God for y'all. And I want to do all I can to make sure that your children are safe. And I want you to join me. I, I want you to join me. I want you to join me. I want every teacher. I want every teacher. Any of us. 
And I, and I want the teachers to be able to pick up uh, on, on children's behavior so they'll know what's going on with that child. It takes all of us, it's going to take all of us to protect our children. It's going to take each and every one of us to protect our children. And, 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 and a lot of times we, we, we wait till something happens. And then we want to jump and holler and, and shout and, and fuss and cuss and everything else. But, but why don't we take some preventive steps? Why don't we get ahead of the game? Why, why, don't, we, why don't we take advantage of, 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 this, of this meeting that's coming up where we can be made aware of things? And once you're aware of stuff, you can stop a lot of stuff before it happens. And no telling how many lives we might save as a result of coming to this meeting. And, 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 and one of the things that was said at the meeting is that I don't care what you think about the police or how you feel about them. That's, that's, not, that's not what this meeting is about. Uh, you know, we, we, got, we, got the, we, got the, we got to stop worrying about if I like so-and-so. I don't like him. I, well, I don't care who you like or not. This information is for you. Tell me you don't like yourself. This information is for you, for the protection of your children. It ain't about whether you like the police or not. It, 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 it ain't about if you like Donald Brown or Bradley or the chief or me or anybody else. It's not about you liking us. It, it's about you loving your children, your grandchildren, your nieces and your nephews and, and your cousins. And I mean, that, that, when, you, when you don't love family, something is wrong. And this is what this is all about. The uh, <clears throat> police are not getting anything out of this. No, 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 no. This is for us. This is for us. This is for us. We, we need to be made aware of the... And I'm telling y'all, they got all kind of sites out there that's decorated and looking good and looking like there's something that... And, and it's getting those children attention and those children think this is a site that they need to go to and you might pass by and see them on that site and you might think it's all right. But after you leave on the third, if you're gonna find out that that site ain't all right, that site either is either a site for sexual predators or for bullies. You know, bullies like to hide behind stuff. You know, sexual predators get on there and pretend that they are somebody else, and pretend that they got they got right motives. But I but I want to tell you, they get ready to be exposed. And you know the devil don't like to be exposed. But 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 on the 30th, on the 30th at 6 p.m. And, and again, that's not just for folks in you follow. That's for all of you who can hear this program or can watch us on TV or you picking us up on YouTube. You can come at the community center. The community center is right next to the high school. Is that right, Dr. Yeah. The community center is right next to the high school. It's 14 Community Center Drive, right next to the high school here in Eufaula. If you get to Eufaula, ask anybody how to get to the high school. And I think anybody in Eufaula can help you get to the high school. And once you get to the high school, we're right next to the community center. It's right next to the high school. And I tell you what, I want them to fill, I want them to fill that place up. I, I want us to fill it up. I want us to, I want us to say what our presence to the police department of you father thank you thank you thank you and then i want us to show one another that we are concerned with how, how, how you know you're concerned because you're going to be there you're going to be there on the 30th at 6 p.m it's going to start on time it's going to start on time so what i what i what i what i'd say to us let's get there about 5 30 no later than a quarter to six and let's fill that place up and let's put a smile on their face, and then and then they'll know that they're gonna have to do this again, and they'll know that they're gonna have to keep us informed, because see, they tell us one time, and then don't keep us informed, and, and see by by us being there in large numbers, the people that's putting this on for us will know that we are concerned. Our neighbors will know that we are concerned, and I tell you something else: that'll put the sexual predators on notice, that'll put them on notice that we're about to stop them. 
that, that'll put the bullies on notice and let them know that we're watching them. Everybody, every everybody that has any speck of concern in your heart, you ought to be there. All leaders ought to be there. All pastors, all youth workers, God knows every youth worker in town ought to be there. I'm looking for every youth worker to be there. All the teachers ought to be there. Coaches, everybody that deal with our children ought to be there. And, and, and I tell you something else. Some of us ought to go just to see who's there. So, so, so we ought to be concerned about who's taking care of our children. And if somebody who's over our children is not concerned enough to come and see how to protect our children, then we need to question them about being over our children. See, we just can't turn our children loose to anybody. We just can't turn our children loose to just anybody. We just can't let our children just go everywhere and anywhere without knowing, without knowing that the person that's over them is not even concerned enough to come find out how to protect them. And that, 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 that's, that's my thing for this morning, y'all. That's April the 30th. That's Thursday. That's the last of the month. The last day of the month. That's the last day of the month. That's, that's April the 30th. That's at 6 p.m. That's at the Ufala Community Center. And it's going to deal with the hidden dangers of social media. Social media is a good thing. But just like anything else, the devil get involved. And the devil will take something good and make it bad. But we're going to expose his tricks. We're going to expose the tricks of the sexual predators. We're going to expose the tricks of the bullies. And, 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 and you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, Sergeant Brown was talking the, uh, uh, when I was interviewing him. And he said, there's something else that we ought to be aware of is how our children are spending our money. Them kids get on that dog on social media, they get your credit card number, and you'll wake up broke one morning. Now that ought to get you there. That, that ought to get you there if you want to protect your money, protect your, protect your, uh, 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 your credit cards. So why don't, you, why don't you come out on April the 30th. Again, I, I, I'm saying this is a, this is a community announcement. I ain't getting a thing for it. Uh, Brother Whitley ain't getting a thing. Nobody getting nothing for it. Mm -hmm. And it's free of charge for all of us to come out to the community center. And, I, I, and I this is sponsored by who? Uh, the, uh, 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 you follow police department. No, the you follow police department is the ones that, that's putting this on because we have, we have sexual predators in this town. Mm -hmm. We have sexual predators in this community. We, 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 have, we have registered we have registered sex offenders in this city. Mm -hmm. We have registered sex offenders in this county. Registered. And all of them that's registered don't abide by the rules. There, there are some rules that they got to follow, but all of them don't follow the rules. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I want all of us to be there on, on, on the 30th, on the 30th and, 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 and say hello to me. Y'all come out there and say hello to me and, 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 and uh, I enjoy it when somebody say that they're listening to the program. And again, I, I want I want to I want to I want to I want to thank those of you who who showed up Monday at the at the request of Mr. James Thomas. I want to thank all of y'all who were there. Again, I, I want to thank you so much. And all, all I talked about this morning, is if y'all, if, if if somebody say, well, what he talked about this morning? Because you know some people they do it and they try to say it in a negative way. Well, you tell them that he talked about us being at the community center on April the 30th where we can find the hidden the hidden dangers of social media uh, uh, God bless all of you let's keep let's keep uh, the Johnson family Miss Lucille Johnson and all her family let's keep them in our prayers and I'm sure that you know somebody uh, that you need to pray for God bless you God bless you thank you for listening and thank those of you who are watching for watching God bless Pastor Green reminds all of us to go to church next Sunday. This program can be seen on Follow TV 99 on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. It can also be viewed on YouTube at Follow TV 1 channel on Monday night. The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barbershop. Williams Barbershop 
proud to serve the entire community of Ufala. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barbershop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director.